from the second it opens, the music that the filmmakers chose really created a mood. And watching this, the acting in this was so phenomenal. I loved the scene between um, Henry and the woman standing on the porch when he was about to deliver the cat food. They both did such a great job and the filmmakers did a great job in making it so wonderfully awkward between them where you could, as an audience member, kind of feel what they're feeling and you're kind of sitting there going, what the hell? But it was perfect. The story was great. I loved the twist that they put in there. Exceptional, exceptional film the way that they did it. It was great. Cinematography was beautiful too, if I didn't say that already. I love the tonal and genre shift that really happens in the second half. It, it floats into it quite seamlessly without feeling too jarring, but is certainly unnerving, which is exactly uh, the kind of mood I imagine the filmmakers were aiming for. This kind of twisted version of Genie in the Bottle really um, makes one reflect and think what they potentially would do in such a situation. A fun idea to have kind of the, uh, you know, stereotypical kind of crazy cat lady be, uh, uh, you know, a horror uh, killer monster person. Um, so that was that was a fun idea. Uh, so I like the title. Um, yeah, the whole thing being over, you know, needing a new cat was kind of it was ironic and, and uh, humorous in a way and it was it was dark you know as the, the policeman gets killed by the monster and all that but yeah so it was an interesting combination of things you know it was it had some interesting ideas in the script and it was uh nicely acted the, the characters uh, the actors all did a nice job and uh it was nicely put together i thought the main actor that played henry was great i thought he you know uh was convincing like carried the whole dejected uh you know, melancholy vibe or, 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 you know, sad vibe. Um, I, I like the concept. It reminded me of Little Shop of Horrors. And I think that was intentional. Like it's definitely, it was like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like inspired by Little Shop of Horrors, the musical with like Seymour and on like the whole, it's even down to the, uh, sound design of the cellar lady having a weird voice similar to the Audrey 2 plant. Uh, and and I've always said, besides Hamilton, Little Shop of Horrors is my favorite musical of all time. So you was right up my alley. I was rocking with it, yo. So I thought it was uh, funny and also t uh, filled with tension. It balanced that really well. So This was quite original. I like the whole fit me a human or else premise. It's clever uh with its clever special effects and the simplicity of the desire of getting a new cat they have a unique combination of gory and funny and it was very unpresumptuous and the performances were so natural and if you related with the whole loss of the cat and then getting out there it's scary it's just a very enduring sto story except for the fact of killing humans, <laughs> but this adorable lady is a monster. It's beautifully told. We as the audience get to witness him spiraling through the end, through the idea of adding the narrative of the cat. I thought that was a fun way to work with the end of his loneliness. And now he sort of stops at nothing to get this cat. And then he actually ends up finding the cat. There were a couple of comedic moments, which I thought worked well for the plot. But overall, I thought this, this was a great, dramatic, psychological short piece about loneliness and detail and how certain things can get out of hand.